I know you're going to all ask, what's the trick to ammo racking another vehicle in the game, World of Tanks? The big difference, based on my analysis, is when your opponent has a stock vehicle with a stock crew, meaning he doesn't have repairs, he doesn't have safe stowage, uh, he doesn't have anybody trained to, def that, to strengthen the ammo rack or repair the ammo rack, uh, doesn't have the repair kit, the large repair kit or the toolbox, because when the enemy vehicle is repairing the ammo rack, it becomes harder for you to do it. So when the enemy vehicle is stock with a poorly equipped, poor crew, it's to your advantage. Number two, uh, because it's based on a percentage, you know, let's say you have a 10% chance of ammo racking, having additional shots increases the quantity of shots you make, increases the chance you ammo rack. Uh, other than that, I recommend using heat rounds and APCR, uh, uh, HE rounds, etc. And here is my analysis. I did some testing in the training room to see how easy it would be to ammo rack another vehicle. And I did my testing with a lot of different vehicles. I had uh, various vehicles shooting, and I had various vehicles receiving the hit. And I aimed at different sides of the vehicle, I, at the rear, the side, uh, probably not the front. And I tried different types of ammo. I tried AP, APCR, high explosives. I don't think I tried heat rounds. I really don't remember. This tank, I was able to reliably ammo rack the other vehicle every time I tried. And you're going to see it happen right here. Uh, this is a T2 light. Uh, this is an American Tier 2 light tank. Uh, the vehicle that I'm targeting is the FV4005 Stage 2. So one of them is Tier 2. The other one is Tier 10. Uh, the Tier 10 vehicle has weak armor. And what I discovered is I definitely was able to ammo rack it every time in the training room. Was not able to do it in a game when I was when I had the vehicle moving around in the game and I was chasing after that, I was not able to ammo rack it. Uh, so under testing setting, I was able to do it every time. I had to fire like around 200 shots. I'm going to show you the spreadsheet that has all of the records for all of the shots that I did. In this case, I'm aiming at the emblem. I'm aiming at the emblem of the, the British flag uh, on the side of the vehicle. So I'm going to talk about how to ammo rack a tank. And what I did was I went into a training room and I did some testing. Uh, the vehicle that I'm firing with is the M2 light, which is an American uh, light tank. And the vehicle that I'm hitting is the FV4005 Stage 2. The reason why is because the ammo rack is really easy to hit on the FV4005. And the tank that I'm firing with uh, can penetrate it, and it's an autoloader and it has a lot of rounds. What I discovered is that I was able to penetrate. What the hell was that noise? I was able to ammo rack the FE 4005 pretty much every time I tried. It was a piece of cake. Let's see if it plays the next video. Okay, so here is an example of me firing at the FV4005 Stage 2. Uh, you're going to see that I'm aiming at the same position I did. Uh, you can see I ammo racked the FV4005. The turret popped off. This is another example, another test that I did. Uh, you can see how much ammunition I have left. In this case, I have 1125 ammo left. And probably on this shot, shot it's going to ammo rack it. See how smart I am? I know exactly when it's going to happen. So here's another example. You can see I have 1,095. Oh, you know what? This one I'm firing APCR rounds. But again, you're going to see on this shot, it's going to ammo rack that vehicle. There it is. I'm going to show you another one. See, this is with AP rounds. 
look that amazing job I'm doing aiming. But you're going to see it's also going to ammo rack this vehicle. It's very reliable. Like I said, every time I was able to ammo rack it with this pair of vehicles. When I tried with other pairings of vehicles, this is with APCR rounds. When I tried it with other pairings of vehicles, it was very difficult to ammo rack it. In fact, I might not have ever ammo racked using other vehicles. It had to do with the number of time I, I fired shots. That's what made the difference. It was obviously from a different angle, which you probably noticed on your own. Congratulations. So you can see it's extremely easy. It's going to blow the top right now. There it is. Look at that. Isn't that a beauty? Uh, this file contains raw data for testing ammo racking. If it's highlighted, for example, this row going across, that means that I did uh, explode the ammo rack. Uh, so you see here, um, I did the right side and the left side against a T110E5 with a super Hellcat. Um, I was only able to explode the ammo rack once. And in some cases, I did not even damage the ammo rack. You'll see that even though I damaged the ammo rack early on, it was difficult to get it to explode. And I was firing 10 shots. Uh, one of the issues I, I believe is a problem is that when you damage the rack, the crew is repairing it. And while the crew is repairing it and you're reloading it, it's going back to health and, and having repairs on your crew makes it more difficult to explode the ammo rack. So I, I changed something. I'm still using AP rounds. I went to the rear. I'm still at 50 meters. And you'll notice that even though I damaged the ammo rack around the same average time, I did explode it more often when shooting from the rear. This is thinner armor. When it goes through the armor, the outside armor, uh, there is a decision made by the software what the round does internally. You can go read about it on the internet. And then it goes and damages modules internally. Um, uh, having thinner armor does give you an advantage. And of course, having better uh, ammo. Uh, so here's another example. It says stock. That means that I pulled uh, something out of it. Perhaps I pulled the crew out and put a 50% crew in and made sure that I did not have safe stowage or anything like that. And you'll see it, it looks like I, I exploded the ammo rack more often because you could argue that that's what I did. I don't know why I got this line going across over here, but uh, it appears as though uh, it worked more often when I brought the crew down to 50%. I believe that is what happened this particular time. It didn't change um, how early I damaged the rack, but it increased the chance that it exploded. Now, this is obviously not the way you, you have to reproduce results. You should really test it more often than this. So here we have the IS-2. I thought, hey, it's a double barrel gun. Let's go out with the double barrel and hit the Super Hellcat. And I'm going to do it at a closer range. And uh, I don't remember what the two times means. The number of salvos means that twice I fired a double salvo, right? You can see that firing two shots at the same time did not make a difference. You know, I, I oh, no, wait, in this case, it says, says damage rack two times. I'm really not sure. Maybe what was happening is I was always damaging it on the first shot. I'm really not sure. But you can see that I did ammo rack firing a double shot against a Super Hellcat at the rear. I did get it on the first try. One means on the first try. I'm sorry, I don't remember. It could be that the one meant that uh, one shot damage and the other one did not penetrate or something. I don't know. don't remember. Because uh, there is an issue where, as you can see, in in two shots, you could explode the Super Hellcat. You know, just one of the things you got to deal with. So now we've got 
and that was with the stock gun. I realized I was using the stock gun. I switched guns. And you can see that in this case, uh, on the first shot, I was damaging the ammo rack, but it only exploded once. It exploded less often when uh, I used the higher penetration gun uh, that was obviously not the stock gun. And on the second salvo, I was destroying the vehicle. Uh, so then I repeated it with HG rounds, did not damage the ammo rack, fired four shots. So the HG rounds did not make a difference. But I will tell you that with HG, you can absolutely get more ammo racks uh, based on testing I did with SPGs, where I pulled up the SPG and blasted the vehicle in the rear. That's when I did lots of internal damage was with SPGs. However, remember they did change SPGs uh, many times over the years, so the behavior might be different. So now I switch to the 7032122 with HE was able to damage the ammo rack, but then did not explode the ammo rack. Repeated it with heat rounds, damaged the rack, did not explode the ammo rack. Tried a Churchill 3 AP rounds, uh, had issues, wasn't able to explode it. Back to the double barrel gun, Super Hellcat AP was difficult. IS2 stock gun. Um, oh, this is obviously, I switched to the side. And you can see on the side, I, was, I did not have any luck uh, on the side armor or on the rear armor. So then I pulled in the M2. Okay, so now I pulled in uh, the Badger because the Badger has high penetration HE rounds. Didn't make a difference. Uh, and I only did it three times because I wanted to see it work right away. I'm looking for the, the golden ammo, the golden round. A Type 5 Heavy with APCR. I don't know if this must not have been the HE gun. And I tried with the Fosh B, no luck. When I pulled in the M2 light, I was able to pull it off. Uh, but as you can see, it took 10 reloads in this case. In this case, 28 reloads. In this case, 32 reloads. Uh, with APCR and AP, eventually I was able to pull it off. It doesn't look like any difference. We're gonna switch this to average. See 22. And as you can see, the function works perfectly. Okay, so we got average of uh, it eyeballing it. It doesn't look like the APCR had a better average. Uh, then I did the Super Hellcat with the FV4005 regular rounds on the side. I damaged the rack. And I did ammo rack it twice. And this is the number of shots I fired. Now, I know you're going to say, how come you didn't do more tests? It takes a long time to do all of this, especially because I only have one computer. Uh, and I had to run both on one computer. And it's a little bit tricky figuring out, well, did you damage the rack? Uh, did you... Uh, well, it's obvious to tell if you explode it, but you need to have the right equipment. Before, I used to have an audio note, like you could hear the audio from both at the same time, but it doesn't seem to be supported on Windows anymore. So I had to have uh, the feature that shows you eagle eye, they call it, was what I used. Okay, so my analysis, my analysis is, uh, obviously with the Super Hellcat, it is possible to use a regular tank versus a regular tank to explode the ammo rack. It's definitely possible. Uh, but special case, always was able to pull it off, firing large quantity of rounds. This right here could easily be hundreds of rounds. I believe that 200 rounds was the average. And the reason why is because every salvo fired like six shots or something like that. Okay, so here we have a real world case. This is exactly how it would come across in a real game. This is on my YouTube channel. You're going to see a series called Watt Bots. It says M2 Light versus FV4005. And I've got it. I did it like 10 different times. There's about five of them that were uploaded to my YouTube channel. 
And the reason why is because sometimes the uh, the the target vehicle uh, may have ran into a house, and and you know I only have one computer, and I'm running the game. I'm running both of these tanks on the same computer, so it was really difficult to manage it. But I don't think I ammo racked that vehicle a single time, and I fired enough rounds. I mean, I did. I do believe that I did destroy it, but never by ammo rack. And I was, uh, you know, mid-range, close-range, long-range. You see right here, I'm right behind the vehicle, shooting at the ammo rack. Some of the shots were not at the ammo rack, I admit that. But still, I thought it was nearly impossible. In fact, I would say that it's impossible, and if you try to do it, you will fail. Uh, so here is an example of me looking for the FE 4005. It's on my Wattbots series on my main channel. Uh, it says uh, M2 Light versus FE 4005. This happens to be El Haluf. He's going to be coming down that hill. Let's see how soon we spot him. Or maybe he's at the top of the, top of the hill. But you're going to see that I won't be able to ammo rack him. Oh, look. I'm going to advance through time. There he is. So that vehicle is moving, and I am firing, uh, trying to aim at that ammo rack. Uh, obviously, I'm reloading as I'm uh, leaving. And there were times when I was reloaded, I wasn't in a firing position yet. But he's going to keep on moving. I'm going to be as close as I want or as, as far as I want. And you're going to see that all of my shots, look at how I'm aiming that. So under a real-world scenario, unable to ammo rack the vehicle. And I'm sure I fired the same number of rounds trying to do so. Uh, so here's a replay. It's episode number 13 of Watt Bots. Uh, in this case, I was still unable to uh, ammo rack the target vehicle. Uh, it did hit the house. And uh, when it it, I had, did have an issue because it was out of my spotting range at some points. It did hit the house, and I decided uh, to end the pain and suffering, and I rammed the vehicle at the end. But I was still not able to ammo rack it, uh, firing mostly from a distance, not a lot of close-range shots. Um, It was very frustrating. I didn't realize it was going to be so hard to do it. And I did try to be a little bit of a real world situation. I tried to fire, hide behind a bush, fire again, hide behind a bush, maybe type something in chat to my allies, etc. So it really didn't get anywhere. And like I said, I'm going to end up just crashing into that vehicle in the end. Uh, so here's another example. This map is Erlenberg. Uh, you'll see that uh, I was unable to ammo rack the vehicle uh, in a real-world scenario. In this particular game, that vehicle made it to the other side of the map, and I just got behind him and kept blasting him. But I'm pretty sure it did not ammo rack him. I'm going to advance it because I know you want to see everything advanced. Uh, this particular game, I, might, I may have uh, fired from far away, and there may have been a lot of time gaps uh, when I was unable to, um, why isn't it moving? Okay, see, it's already made it uh, to the other end, and it's literally not moving, and I'm parked behind it. I'm relatively low on ammo, not, not low, but uh, lower than when I did it in the training room. Still did an ammo racket. 